name's Adam, and what I'm going to do is try to explain um, a quick and simple way of recording educational resource videos using the using the iPad and using the, the application iMovie. It's a very easy thing to use, and you can create sort of two, three to five minute videos quite simply with minimal fuss and minimum effort. First thing that we want to be aware of is that you know we're, we're operating with light, so uh, what we'll need is a well-lit space. Now what I'm using here is, is a standard up lighter, it's nothing particularly fancy, but I'd recommend using perhaps some of the cheaper LED array lights. Um, or you know for you could just use natural light for, for a nicer look, really. Uh, you're also, if you're doing anything like me, you want to invest in some kind of tripod or holding device for the iPad so that you can actually present to it without having to hold it. I'm using a, a mock-up with a, a cymbal stand actually, but you can actually get various different GorillaPod type things that will hold the iPad in place while you actually record. Another thing we want to be aware of is that if we're going to be recording dialogue, is that we want something to sound a bit nicer, so we need to be closer to the microphone, and therefore we're going to use a uh, voiceover. So what you can actually do is get closer to the device, and therefore hopefully get a clearer and better sound with less reverb. So when we open up iMovie we're going to get this initial screen which is going to give us maybe one or two options but what we really want to do is to start our new movie or trailer. So we tap on the screen and it will open up these options and it will give us the option of making a movie or a trailer Similar things, but a trailer will give us a preset format where we can just drop in the, the footage that we want. But we're going to move with the, the thing that's probably a little more complex, which is the movie icon on the left. It will then give us a number of themes that we can choose, so we choose the simple theme because it has the, the least formatting in it. We then bring up our interface screen, so on the top right there you can see the different folders that we've got. And on the bottom what we've got is the timeline. What we're going to do is go to the bottom right of the screen, which you can't see on the screen, and tap on the camera symbol to open up the window that will give us the opportunity to do a photo or a video. If we slide up the screen, we can change the option between photo and video, depending on what we want to do. And the, uh, the circle on the right is how to activate it. So we can take a picture and then we've got the option to either use the picture or to retake it. So if we choose use the picture, it will appear directly down into our timeline. Obviously if we had had decided to take a video instead, the process would be the same. Um, and you press the, the round symbol on the right hand side and it would start recording the video. You press it again to stop recording the video. Uh, for the ease of this video, what I'm going to do is just take a few additional shots. So here we have a few different selection of videos and images that I've actually put into the timeline. You see what they do is they, they appear in the timeline. Now if we highlight them and drag in the yellow corners of each individual shot, what we can do is we can trim that shot down. When we move off it, that shot will be then cut. What you might notice is that in between all the shots we have a little symbol and it automatically puts in a transition. So the, the default is to put in a dissolve transition for any videos that we're putting in there, which will mean that one will blend into the other. But we can click on various different transition types when we highlight that. And so here you can see that when we play the video back, then we'll change from a dissolve to a wipe. If you're recording a video or anything like this, what we want to do is remove the audio. So if we click on the waveform symbol, it will highlight the audio information that's underneath each track. We click detach on the bottom right and it will detach the audio away, which we can then do what we want with. We can trim it down, we can hold it and we can move it to a different clip, or we can just get rid of it altogether by choosing the delete option. What we don't want is to have perhaps a silent video. So we need to work out where, how to get our audio onto there. So you can see in the top right, we can change between maybe the videos that we've got present, or we can change to the audio selection. 
Now this will give you access to the different sounds that are within um, the iPad itself. So we can choose on theme music and here pick a generic sort of modern theme, click on the arrow and it will drop it down into the timeline. Also we could choose different sound effects that are in there, choose something, move the cursor to where we want it to go and it will drop down onto the recording place that we've stopped it. If you have iTunes and you have different things in iTunes, you can also use that audio as well. What we might also want to do is add text onto our video. So I choose a slide where I actually want the text to appear and in the bottom left you have different options. If we choose the T for title, it will bring up the different title options that we can have. Choose a transition type that you want, click in the box and you'll be able to input the different text that you want to put over the top of the video. When we put on done, we'll see that the text then appears over that. Now if we don't like the transition that's actually happening as, uh, as the word appears, we can always click back on the clip, back into the title menu, and change the title type. And then we see we change the animation about how the title actually appears. If you want to get rid of titles, you can just click the non option and they will vanish off. To record a voiceover like the one that I'm doing now, what we can do is choose the record option which is the microphone symbol in the bottom right hand side of the screen. We click on that and it gives us the options, it's ready to record, so we press the red record button and it will count us down 3 seconds to record to give you time to actually think about what to say. When we've finished, we press the stop and it will give us the options to retake it, to review it or to accept it. So if we accept this, then the recording appears down in the timeline. There is more that can be done in iMovie obviously, but this covers some of the basic functions in order to make a video. So if we click back out of our editing screen using the top left hand arrow, it will bring us into some options for whatever we've decided to call our movie. We want to export it. So we choose the square with the arrow going up and it will export to different online providers but we want to save the video onto the device. We click save to device and it will bring us up the options of the export size that we want. This iPad is set to record 720 HD, but I'm just going to export a large movie as it will be a little bit quicker. You get the export bar up and that will count down and it will export the movie onto the device. When it's finished, it will appear in the photo library. Should we want to re-edit the video after that, we can click back on the edit button and it will bring us back into our timeline and allow us to make any changes that we want to make.